Like many police departments, Youngstown has its share of open cases, many of them dating back decades. Including one murder victim killed 20 years ago this week. 27 First News reporter Molly Reed has been looking into that case and where it stands right now. Detectives with the Youngstown Police Department have a lot of cases to work on. And on top of those ones happening right now, there's still a lot of unsolved murders that date back decades. One of those is Kathy Perlas, whose son Nick Pallone was murdered in his Youngstown home 20 years ago this week. Police never found out who killed him, and Kathy's still looking for answers. Nick was murdered in a time when responding to shootings and homicides became almost routine for Youngstown police. But there was a lot that held them back from solving those cases. Tonight at 5, I'll tell you what Kathy is doing now to try to get new information about Nick's murder. And then later at 11 p.m., I'll show you what Youngstown police say they need to try to crack these cases some 20 years later. For now in the newsroom, Molly Reed, WKBN 27 First News This Morning.